Hello and welcome to my release day unboxing of the Ultimate Edition of Bioshock Infinite. This is the Ultimate Songbird Edition, the full collector's edition of the new game. Um, I'm really looking forward to this for ages, all the previews have been looking amazing, I love the first two games. And since it's been taking a whole new direction, um, Irrational, um, Ken Levine and everybody there seem to have done a really really amazing job with this. So it should be as good, if not better, than the first two games. So, right, so this is the song edition. So you see the songbird himself there. That's the, the 9 and 3 quarter inch or 10 inch statue. Just there. So I'll just put this in the light so you can see that a little bit better. It's really, really nicely detailed. Almost looks like it's cast. Um, although I'm not sure because I... It comes in a full scale window box anyway, so I don't think I need to actually uh, get him out. So that's the uh, songbird himself, anyway. And then we just tip the box up. Really nice full scale art on the sides. So you've got Elizabeth on one side, and then like an airship in the background logo on the top. Turn around on the other side, you've got Booker. Booker's away, the main player character. And the back is the information on the game and the contents and the spiel, which I think comes on the main part of the game anyway. So, right, so we just open this up there. <coughs> okay, so starting from the top, you've got your copy of the game and two of the smaller collectibles. So, you've got this little guy here is the uh, little handyman figure and the other box is the crow's keychain so I'll just get those out So that's the uh, handyman there. Not sure why he's sort of like a dark blue colour, but uh, there he is. I probably won't focus very well because he's a pretty tiny guy. And this other box here is the crow's keychain. Come down again. Sorry, the camera bouncing around. And there is the Crow's keychain. Actually, like plastic. I thought it was metal. It's a, it's cast plastic, but still very, really nicely detailed. It's their logo there. That probably won't focus very well. And the handyman figure. And the <coughs> and then this is also collectible for the game. I really like the packaging as well. Actually, it also ties in with the uh, sort of the the. Patriot theme, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do the game in a second. This is the uh, the collector's lithograph that you get only with the. Uh, I think it comes with the. Um, limited edition as well. It's the uh, Devil's Kiss lithograph. Um, so the other thing that I really like about the Bioshock games is how they really work their, their branding and every sort of poster person that you see, any sort of advertisement, any sort of um, person, character, brand, any bit of machinery is really really well done in sort of the period, sort of early 20th century period like that which is really nice. The uh, Collector's Edition Hardcover Art Book it's got a Columbia Customs logo on the front so I'm just going to give you a quick flick through this, I'm not going to show you everything um, really really nice period artwork, really detailed artwork, so environments vehicles, airships, all of the weapons The Skyhook, which is the main 
thing the enemy really need to use. And they've really expanded on the um, the big daddy idea as well. So that's that's a full scale handyman. That's actually what he probably looks like in the game. Sort of um, branding and characters and things as well. Really nice. So that is the smaller scale collectibles. Now <coughs> the game itself, you also get a couple of extra bits of DLC as well. It's a handy starters great pack which gives you three enhancements and power ups. Uh, actually, whether you can read that, hopefully it will focus just about. You've got Bull Rush, which gives you uh, increased power of melee strikes, sprinting melee strikes. Extra, extra, which gives you extra cash when you pick up all your logs, which is quite useful because there's loads of them. They're also really detailed as well. It's a really fun part of the first two games. And the Betrayal, which allows you to, oh, you can actually possess enemies, kind of like um, Corvo in uh, Dishonored. So it makes them explode, causing extra damage. That's cool. And then some avatar items, so just for your character avatar on. Um, the Xbox dashboard, have a look at those. And obviously the final soundtrack. Again, sound the other amazing part of the first two games. Hopefully this game as well. Art direction, the soundtrack, really, really well done. Really sort of added to the um, spirit of the game. And then finally, instructions, the manual. Even though it's quite thin, it's still in uh, full colour, I think. Yep, full colour artwork, screenshots. Pretty brief, but what more do you need, really? You've got your controls and the basic sort of ideas. There's lock picking now, there's also tears, which is sort of the time travel one, is a portal type thing. Vigors. And um, they still got the vending machines and everything, similar to the video phones, similar to the uh, the first two games. And then on the inside of the case, you've got your game disc there, and there's some nice little double-sided artwork with a quote from R. Lutis, I think it says. I'm not sure whether he's a. There's the a little mural for the uh, the songbird there. <coughs> okay, so that is the in-game content um, okay so that is pretty much it that is the whole of the song edition for Bioshock Infinite hope you enjoyed it right enjoy the game I know I will okay thanks guys